Hi and welcome to the channel. This is a follow-up video from the video I posted a couple of videos back about uh, me replacing just one capacitor and an amplifier and seeing what difference that would make. It's a pretty important capacitor really, it's in the signal path. Um, so I thought just replace one, would that make any difference to an amplifier? That I wanted to, um, the reason to do it, it was an experiment in one, one respect, but uh, also I wanted to kind of like um, give a bit of airiness to that uh, Sansui 217 that I used. Um, it's quite a nice sound amplifier, I did like the sound of it and that, but I just wanted to give the airiness to it that I associate with other sound series I've got, like the 331, etc. So um, I thought I'd just have a little tinker around, um, see what happens, kind of weren't expecting too much to happen really, to be honest with you, but all worth a go. Anyway, you can have a look at that video, what I thought about the four different capacitors. I used the original, I used uh, a Nichicon, Fine Gold, I used uh, a Rubicon, and I used a Wimmer, a WIMA capacitor, and uh, kind of pick which one I like between the four of them. And uh, the fine gold uh, just about come on top, I think, uh, overall. And I've been listening to it afterwards, and that's the kind of one I'm going to stick with now. But in doing that uh, test, there's one capacitor that kind of got a thumbs down. It didn't sound that good. I lost quite a bit of the bass, and overall wasn't too impressed with the overall sound of it, was the Wimmer capacitor. Uh, one microfarad 63 volt Wimmer and uh, I stuck the video up obviously and people watched it and uh, someone come back, a subscriber of mine come back and said maybe that capacitor was uh, maybe a Chinese knockoff or something like that because uh, uh, the markings weren't quite right. I haven't actually got the capacitor here because I've actually got rid of it now. They're, they're, they're a waste of time to be honest with you. But um, oh, actually I've got a picture in obviously of what it used to look like. Uh, there you go. That's, that is it there. Um, in the circuit, uh, not in the circuit, in uh, on the on the meter, and on the meter, the readings look okay, but it's just got the markings on the top. When usually they've got them on the side, on one side, all the capacitance and voltage, and on the other side is uh, five, ten, or something like that. I imagine the tolerance or whatever. So that's that. So uh, there's the picture. This is the capacitor I'm replacing. So anyway, uh, I just to show you where they were in the circuit before. This is the actual capacitors that I used before that doesn't sound so good. As you can see, there's no markings on there. There's no markings on the other side, it's just that marking on top. Now, I thought what I'd do is I'll make sure I get them from a reputable company, which I did. I'll order some more. Uh, and I thought I'll order a 63 volt, but this one's already in there. And uh, I did see some 100 volt ones in there, just from, uh, I thought I might as well get some 100 volt ones as well. Why not, just in case there's any slight difference, whatever. I'm not expecting it to be, but uh, I made a bit of a muck up. Uh, I don't know too what went wrong, but I've got the 100 volt ones all right, but uh, for some reason I managed to order a 63 volt 0.47 capacitor, which is not much good to me in this particular amplifier, but uh, that's coming handy somewhere else unexpectedly really, didn't order it for that, but uh, well, another video is coming up, so we'll talk about that later, but um, so I couldn't replace like for like, I couldn't put a 63 volt, but uh, I can't see any difference this 100 volts going to make. Uh, at all, so anyway, we thought we'd stick that in now. So, anyway, before I do that, let's just see the measurements of that 100 volt. There's the 100 volt measurement, stick up on the screen there now so you can see that. So, um, what we've we got there's the old ones in there, uh, and this is the new ones there fitted. As you can see, you can see the markings there, they're on the side now. Front, I've got them either way, so you can see front and back what they look like now. So, I thought I'd give this a test and see if this sounded any better than the uh, the previous whim that I put in there. And uh, as soon as I turned, I like to give it a day, really. I, I didn't go that far this time. I was trying to speed things up a bit because I've got other things to do. But I'll give it a good few hours, uh, not really listen to it. But as soon as I turned it on, I, I could tell the difference straight away, you know what I mean, without even kind of like scrutinising it or anything like that. Uh, that there's definitely a difference. The bass was there straight away. You're going to notice that instantly. So um, anyway, I gave it a few hours and that and had a good listen. Now, obviously, this sounded totally different from the previous Wimmer capacitor. So there was something wrong with that capacitor. Something weren't quite right. Uh, and um, I always double check because um, when there's a lack of bass, you can always think, well, maybe I've got one speaker out of phase or something like that. But I always double, double check. Uh, and I did in that uh, instance back then. So it definitely everything was wired up correctly. Um, so this definitely made a difference, this capacitor here, this uh, 100 volt one. I don't want to, it isn't, I think it's just the other one, is something wrong with the other capacitor, even though the measurements look okay. So anyway, I give it a good listen, and now I want to kind of compare this. So I mean, first of all, I now can say that um, them women's are okay if you get the proper one, maybe there is some dodgy ones going around. They're not that expensive really. I think I said they're about 50 pence, but I think these only cost me 30 or 40p. Uh, they weren't that expensive. Uh, I think I bought, well, I bought five of them from one company and five from another. So they weren't, they're not that expensive, let's put it that way. So um, I, I suppose they do knock things off, or maybe it's just a 40 batch. I don't know what it was, but something's obviously happened there somewhere. These sound like, say, totally different. And 
even though they sound totally different, these here, to uh, kind of carry on that other um, review of them, is that um, they, they they didn't bring the, the airiness wasn't there I wanted, I wanted a bit of airiness, and I, I, I wasn't going to get it, I didn't get it with a fine gold anyway, neither. Um, but they just had that, the, the top end just had that kind of ring to it, if you know what I mean, just a slight little bit of a ring, a little bit of a metallic sound to it that I didn't really want it, I wanted more of the sweetness kind of sound. Um, it's a bit to explain it. It's a bit of a, I should imagine it's pretty much the same as a dome, uh, a metal dome tweeter against a silk dome tweeter. That kind of difference in tone uh, to the top end, to when it's in the um, ride and all that kind of stuff and the cymbals. You're getting that little bit of a metallic sound to it that I didn't want. Now this may suit some people, like people, you know, like I say some people have got soft dome tweeters, some people have got metal dome tweeters, and there is a subtle difference there in the sound. So. I just wanted that more sweeter, uh, more finer sound maybe, uh, to, to sound finer, and this was not it, this was not it for me, so you know, I don't want to take this video up too long, I'm just, all, the point of the video is that, um, and both videos really, is that all these capacitors will make a difference, I think, well I know by my experience, that depending on what capacity you put in, even though it's only a one microfarad capacitor, it could be, any make would make a different it would make a different sound. It would make a different sound. How much difference is, is debatable. Some will make a vast difference, I think, and some make just a tiny difference. Now, I've been uh, also um, recommended that I try a, a polystyrene capacitor. Uh, I've been looking around and I couldn't find a one microfarad one. Uh, but so when I do, I will come back and uh, have a little tinker around and put a, a polystyrene in as well. I'll probably buy a couple of other different ones as well, uh, just to give it a bit of a difference. But at the moment, I'm quite pleased and I've gone back to the uh, fine gold, there they are as they were originally when I put them in there and showed you that video. So they're back in there and that's what I'm going to stick with for the time being. I'm quite happy with the sound there, it's improved the sound. Uh, it's took a little bit of the bass, and just a tad of the bass away, but it's improved the sound. It's not got the airiness that I wanted and I don't think whatever I put in there, I think it's just the, the other made up components and everything else, how it's all done in there, how the circuit's put together, uh, it's kind of defined how it's going to sound, it's not, it's not going to bring that airiness to it, I don't think it may do, I can't say for definite, maybe if I started replacing some of the other capacitors in the circuit, then this may suddenly you know change, but uh, at the moment I, I, I don't think it's going to be, let's put it that way, so I'm happy with what it is, I'm happy because it's got you know, like I say, a different sound from the 331 anyway. So I've kind of got like a chalk and cheese kind of sound, if you know, you know a, a contrast, two different contrasts of sound there. So I can use one, it's, it's no good having 10 amplifiers all sounding the same kind of thing. So it's nice just to have a little bit of difference, but to have the same kind of sad signature, but I'm not quite getting the airiness. Uh, and also it wasn't quite um, uh, given each instrument its own kind of space as well, which the 331 was, this, this wasn't doing it as good. So above than that, it's still a good sound, you know, it's quite a nice sound amplifier. Uh, I'm still pleased with the amplifier for what it costs. Like I say, you pick up one for about eighty hundred pounds. Something like that. I won't pay much more than that for it. But other than that, you know, round right about that, make a one twenty or something. Like that, things are sharp a little bit these days, isn't they? But for that kind of money, you still get yourself a nice, decent amplifier. It's got some oomph to it as well. Um, so yeah, it's a good little amplifier, uh, and you may be worthwhile. You know, like I say, the idea of these two videos really was is not for me to tell you how these sound, uh, and this is the one you should go for. This is the sound to go for. It's for you to find out how they sound by changing this one capacitor just a little simple job just one you're not changing the whole lot just one would make a difference and i wouldn't change it to something you know if you're happy with what you got why are you changing it kind of thing i suppose you know what i mean that's one way look it's just if you want to just maybe just alter it a little bit you think i'm not quite happy with that i just want to go in this direction or that direction it could be a way of doing it just by changing just one part in each channel just one capacitor uh on that uh, part and that's um this place here just before it comes into like the, then you've got the kind of preamp down here maybe uh, or most of them it actually links up to the main amp as it starts amplifying through the signal kind of progresses uh, just that one capacitor where it's coupling the two uh, that may be something to change just to have a little experiment and muck about with okay that's it that's this video taken up so uh, that Wimmer has kind of reprieved itself that was obviously something wrong with that dodgy whatever uh, fake or whatever you want to call it um, so yeah back back in the uh, back in the all shall we say the women's uh, so that's it I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon